In this last example, we talk about the interest on a loan, or perhaps an investment, being given by the formula I equals P times R times T. So what this means is, if you have a principal, uh, or some amount of money that you're investing, or perhaps borrowing, that's called P, the principal, there's always going to be a rate of interest that's being considered. So 2%, 5%, 4.5%, and so on. And then time. How long is the investment being made for? Or uh, over what period of time do you have to pay the loan back? So here in this question, we're told that for a given principal P, the interest earned I varies jointly as the rate of interest and the time. So we know that I, oops, we know that I varies jointly with R and T for some value of P. So if P is held constant, that's going to be a constant of variability uh, or constant of variation or constant of proportionality. So as long as this number stays the same, the interest will vary jointly with the rate and the time uh, for the investment or the loan. Uh, we're given some values here. So we're told that if an investment earns $100 of interest at uh, a 5% rate for two years, so we have $100 for I, 0 0.05 represents 5%. So remember, anytime you're trying to use uh, a percentage in a formula, you have to convert it to decimals first. So 5% converted to decimals will be 0 0.05 times the, the time period or two. And we're asked how much interest will the same principal earn at 4.5% for three years. So before we can answer that question, we need to figure out what this constant of variation is. So 0 0.05 times two is 0 0.1. So the right hand side simplifies or cleans up to 0 0.1 P. In order to solve for P so that we have a constant of variation, we can divide the 0 0.1 over to the other side. And that gives us P equals 100 over 0 0.1, which simplifies to 1,000. So what we can say at this stage safely is that the principal was $1,000. That is how much money was either borrowed or invested in some uh, opportunity. So using that constant of variation, what we can do is write down uh, the equation of our model. So I will be 1,000 times rate times time. So now we can solve for unknown values. If we are told that R is equal to 4.5% and that loan or investment is outstanding for three years, then I can be solved for, because we know what P is, we know R is 4.5 divided by 100, or 0 0.045, and then T is three, so that goes there. And if we multiply these three numbers out, my calculator gave me $135. So what that means for us is that $135 of interest would be earned if we invested $1,000 at 4.5% interest for three years.